What's up everybody? Welcome to HD Piano. My name is Kale, and in today's lesson we're going over A5 by Aphex Twin. And this part 1 video will be covering the main riff to the song. Here's how that sounds. Okay, so there you have it, that's the main riff. Now before we dive into this lesson, I've got a question for everybody tuning in out there. Now I'm a big fan of Aphex Twin, and he has a lot of pieces like this that are kind of this minimal, ambient piano vibe. So I'm curious if you guys have any suggestions for other Aphex Twin songs that we should add to our repertoire. Comment below, we'd love to see what you guys have to say. Okay, so starting off, we're just going to cover the right hand part in this song, which plays this motif. And we're going to be using eighth notes here, but if you're not familiar with those, no worries, we'll break it down real quick. So our basic unit of rhythmic measurement is a quarter note, and those get one hit per beat. So if you're counting, one, two, three, four, quarter notes sound like this. One, two, three, four. Pretty simple. Now eighth notes take that one step further, they get two hits per beat. So if you're counting, one, two, three, four, eighth notes would sound like this. One, two, three, four. So in the context of this part, we're going to have to count these eighth notes. So we'd count like this. One and two and three and four and. For the right hand part, we're going to be starting off playing on the and of beat one. So that'll be like this. One and. We're going to play an A with our thumb on the and of beat one. Then on beat two, we're going to play a B with our pointer finger. And on the and of beat two, we're going to play a C with our middle finger. So one and two and. And that's basically the idea that's going to be carried on through the whole part. So we'll do one and two and three and four and. Let's try that together really slowly. Ready? One, two, three, go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and. Three and four and. Now we just did it three times, and that's how we're going to play this actual part too. We're going to play that three times, and then on the fourth time, we're going to play a B with our pointer finger on the and of beat one. And then on the top of beat two, we'll play a C with our middle finger. And on the and of beat two, we'll play a D with our ring finger. So one and two and three and four and. And that's basically our entire right hand part for this main riff, so let's try that together really slowly. Three times of the... And then one time of... And that's going to repeat the entire tune. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four and one and two and three and four and great and you've learned the right hand part for the main riff now let's learn this left hand part which sounds like this okay so we're starting off with a D and an F in our left hand, and we're going to play those with our ring finger and our pointer finger. After that, we're going to hold that out till the end of beat two. So, one and two and. And then on the end of beat two, we're going to play a D with our ring finger. So, one and two and. Then on beat three, we're going to play that F with our pointer finger. And on the end of beat three, we're going to play the D again with our middle finger, rather our ring. So. One, and two, and three, and. And then finally we're going to play this D with our ring finger again on the and of beat four. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then on the next bar we're going to play a C and an E. So a C with our pinky and an E with our middle finger. 
And we're just going to hold this out for two beats. So one, two, and then on beat three, we're going to play this E one more time with our middle finger. So one, two, three, four. All in all, the first two bars are gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now in the next bar, we're going to go back to that part with the D and the F. So we're going to play one, two, and three, and four, and one more time. And then for our final bar on the left hand, we're going to play E with our middle finger and G with our thumb. And then on the end of beat two, we'll play an E with our middle finger again. So one, two, and. And then finally on beat three, we're going to play a G with our thumb. And on the end of beat three, we're going to play an E with our middle finger again. So one, two, and three, and four. And that's our entire left hand part, so let's try that together really slowly a few times. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three and four. One, two, and three and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and three and four. And one, two, and three and four. Great, now that you've learned each part separately, let's try combining both hands here and playing the right and left hand part together really slowly. Ready? One, Two, three, go. One and two and three and four and 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 and there you have it congratulations you've learned the main riff to a5 by aphex twin head over to hdpiano.com to tackle the remaining sections and while you're here please subscribe like and drop us a comment check us out on all social media too at hdpiano See you over at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson.